Hi, my name is Gregory Gallant. I had open heart surgery on two, in 2007 in February. It's been 11 years now and my life is fantastic. I uh, was in the hospital for a period of five days and everything like that. I uh, had no complications. I was very fortunate and everything like that. I turned around, I went home and I had some family support of my daughter stayed with me for a week. My uh, granddaughter came with me for a week too as well and then my best friend came and stayed with me for a week. So I had people around that were helpful that turned around and uh, drove me to the doctor's appointments, took me to groceries and different things like that. And I basically listened to what they told me to do as far as uh, not doing anything I shouldn't do pertaining to lifting anything too heavy or anything like that. The staff here, the surgeons and the nurses and everything like that were fantastic. I, I shouldn't say I enjoyed my stay, but I mean the time went fairly quickly and uh, I was home in no time, five days, I was out of here and I was home. And I, like I say, it's been 11 years and knock on wood, I haven't had any complications. I have yearly checkups and everything like that. I see a cardiologist every year, year and a half, two years, depending, you know. I'm looking forward to I'm having a stress test done in August of next year. So she's keeping a good eye on me and I have a yearly checkup with my family doctor as well and cholesterol and blood work and everything like that. So, And I exercise regularly. I go to the gym anywhere it's five, six days a week. You know, I do volunteer work here at the QE2 for people going in for heart surgery and everything like that. And I try to reassure them that there is a light at the end of the tunnel and everything like that. So. Hi, I'm Jan Halliburton and I had a valve replaced 14 years ago. Um, when I found out that I needed my valve replaced, I was quite frightened and quite scared because it never entered my head that the back pain and sore neck I had and sore arms was anything to do with my heart. When I was told I needed heart surgery, I was told to go home and just relax. Well, relaxing when you're told you need heart surgery is a little harder to do than you think. So what happened probably was waiting became an anxious time. Doing things that are normal around the house, waiting to be told for your surgery, causes a lot of um, anxiousness for your family, for yourself. And I think you need to have time to talk with each other. It's important to have somebody there. Um, I became involved after my heart surgery uh, in volunteering with people who are going to have heart surgery simply because I think it makes a difference to talk with people and explain to them that you do feel better. I had a valve replaced 14 years ago and what they did 14 years ago was quite different than what they do now. Um, I went to a recovery program not organized like they do now for open heart surgery after either diabetes or heart disease but instead I went to um, uh, swimming, I went to a uh, dietitian on my own, and all the things you learn really make a big difference. I'd really encourage you to get as involved and talk with other people. Of course, you might even think about volunteering and helping people. When I had my surgery in hospital, I was helped a lot by the staff that were here. Uh, the nurses were very keen to make sure you're moving and getting up out of bed, and physio will help you and your physicians visit you and bring you up to date with what's happened in your surgery and making plans for follow-up after your surgery. They really do help as far as making it clear that you're, you've been had surgery that's recovered you and now play, making plans to go to an open heart recovery program, becoming active at home and progressively taking charge of your life again and being positive about it makes a big difference. Hi, my name is Ken McMillan. I'm a volunteer with the Open Heart Patient Support Group. We are people who have gone through open heart surgery 
and meet with people who are about to go through surgery to, just to give them a, 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 an, an idea of what to expect from a lay perspective. Uh, I had my cardiac incident in December of 1999 and uh, as a result following some different tests they found that I had five blockages in three different arteries and in May of 2000 I had uh, a triple bypass surgery. At the time uh, I didn't quite know what to expect but I, with the advantages of the internet and that type of thing and also the support of uh, the people within the cardiac uh, group I was able to find out information about the surgery and some idea of what to expect. Uh, it, it's a type of uh, surgery that some may say it's, it's a very, it can be invasive surgery but it's very uh, uh, commonplace these days and they only do it when they absolutely have to. Uh, myself, I, uh, I had my surgery in May, uh, was off work for a few weeks, a few months actually, went back and I've been back doing everything I've always done. I went back to work, finished out my career, uh, I shovel snow still now and mow lawns and do all that type of thing. It's very important to, to get as much information as you can about uh, the surgery and how to help yourself uh, to recover and you know, cardiac rehab programs that are offered by, uh, uh, by the uh, cardiac team uh, are, can be very informative and help you to, to really uh, get a handle on what changes you may have to make in your life. Uh, I know myself, uh, as I say, after 18 years, I feel great. And following the cardiac rehab program, I was able to learn how to, to take better care of myself so that I didn't have to have a second or a third surgery. Uh, the cardiac rehab program uh, and uh, the cardiac group have, have proven to be very, uh, very beneficial, certainly to me. And uh, as I say, over the last few years, uh, I guess I've been volunteering now for over uh, nine years, uh, I've met a lot of different people who are uh, uh, going through surgery. We keep in tune with what uh, new changes are happening and new things that are introduced. Because uh, like everything in medicine today, it's constantly changing and new, new procedures and that type of thing. So all in all, it's been a good experience. Uh, it's always good to talk to somebody who's been through it, especially somebody who's going to come at it from a lay perspective, not, not a medical approach. So I, I would encourage you to, to ask questions uh, and uh, talk to people about it, especially your cardiac team.